Okay, so great to chat about Neighbors. Um, can you talk a bit about the series and what fans can expect to see? Ooh, um, yeah. I mean, so it's a reboot. It's coming back. It's two years in the future. You've got Reese Sinclair. She's my character. She comes in. She's obviously new to the show. Um, and uh, yeah, she's there for reasons unknown, exactly. And I mean, she comes from like a very kind of wealthy, the Sinclair family. They own like a massive company, like a Comcast type of thing. She's there to check out the hotel chains. But then we really realize that she might have some ulterior motives. And then she also falls in love locally with an Aussie boy and uh, gets a little bit sidetracked and then gets back on track, hopefully, before and she leaves. The trailer made your character seem very mysterious. Can you talk a little bit about what drew you to this project? Yeah, I mean, it's um, it's something that like I just felt like I could play Reese Sinclair, and when I read it, and it was kind of like tailored towards me a little bit too. Like, and the writers were very like collaborative and cool over it. Like Jason and and them and Andrew were just great when it came to like if it seems too Australian, like we'll make it more American. Like we'd love to hear like what you think, Reese. But I like the way they wrote her. And I thought that she just actually had like a lot of backstory and was a fun kind of delicious character to get to play. So now we love seeing you on these soap type shows. Um, can you talk about what you love about working in this type of genre? Well, this was crazy because I've never done anything like this before. I mean, this was like, you know, this is multi-camera. It's, um, they film like, you know, five episodes in one week, like 20 scenes a day. It's a very different kind of things to what I'm used to format wise, but they are such a tight knit family. They're very sweet people. Like honestly, watching them all come back together and pick up work again on this was like, one of the sweet joys of my life recently because I guess I'm a bit of a softy when it comes to that like just seeing them all coming back together and getting their jobs back and like really just yeah I don't know like that camaraderie that they have and the fact they let me in on it like by the time I was leaving it was like we were all on a first name basis and like it got kind of strangely emotional and like tears were shed so I wasn't really expecting that but it was it was a nice experience now I have to ask obviously I'm a huge fan of the OC and it just celebrated its 20th anniversary can you believe it's been 20 years since that show came out no it's crazy I mean yeah it's a wild feeling it's talking to Rachel about it when I did the and Melinda it's just like it's crazy you know Melinda had a three-year-old at the time she's a grown woman like it's it's crazy how time flies like that but it um yeah it's a it's a good feeling and it's good to get to talk to them again so recently too so catching up with them is great now I know Neighbors is a reboot if there was ever a reboot of the OC and somehow they managed to bring Marissa back from the dead so I don't know how they do it you know maybe she faked her death um would you mm -hmm. be interested in coming back in some sort of a way Oh, maybe. Yeah. I mean, how that would ever happen. Like you said, I always think it's more likely that like some sort of a weird offshoot could happen. Or I know, I think that it's been talked about, like she might have faked her death, but it's it's unlikely. <laughs> I know as a fan of the show, though, I'm just like, fingers crossed that one day maybe Marissa could come back because you were one of my favorite characters in that series. And I know a lot of fans loved Marissa. Now, I also wanted to ask, there are so many ica iconic cameos from stars looking back on the OC that I feel like fans today are just now realizing like Olivia Wilde, Chris Pratt. Um, Do you have any fun memories with those actors from set? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like not particularly like, I mean... I wish I could give you like a really fun anecdote. I mean, really, Olivia and I work together, obviously, the most. And she was great to work with. I mean, I wish I had like really fun stories for you, but not really. And it's so long ago that it's hard for me to even I don't even know if I crossed paths with Chris Pratt or who like, you know, like it's one of those things where like I worked with quite a few people on it, but it's a long time ago now. And then jumping back to Neighbors, can you describe the new season in three words? Oh, um, a salacious, intriguing, and Australian. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> now, I know we've been talking a little bit about reboots. Is there any like soap or maybe a drama show that you are a big fan of that you would like to see come back as a reboot in the future? Oh my goodness. I've literally never thought about that. I really don't know. I mean, what would be a great reboot? I don't know. I mean, yes, I don't know. If I really stopped and thought like ab fab or something, that's what I want to see come back. <laughs> Absolutely fabulous. That would make me happy.